In this problem, we're going to graph the solution set of this inequality. So solution. So the first step in this problem is to graph the equation. So graph the equality. So graph the equality. So pretend they're equal and give a rough sketch of the graph. So we have 4x equals 3y plus 12. And so I think for me, the easiest way to graph this, or an easy way, is to just find the x and y intercepts. So uh, let me go ahead and draw the y-axis and draw the x-axis. So x, y. And so you can do that by just setting each variable equal to 0. So if you set x equal to 0, that'll give you the y-intercept. So 4 times 0 equals 3y plus 12. So it means 0 is equal to 3y plus 12. Then we can subtract 12 from both sides. So negative 12 is equal to 3y. Then just divide by 3. And so we have y equals negative 4. So when x is 0, y is equal to negative 4. So from the origin, we go right 0 and then down 4 units. And then we can set y equal to 0, and this will give us the x-intercept. To find any intercept, you set the other one equal to 0. So like when you set x equal to 0, you find the y-intercept. When you set y equal to 0, you find the x-intercept. Okay, so plugging in 0 into our equation, that will give us 4x equals 3 times 0 plus 12. So 4x is equal to 12. Then we can simply divide by 4. And that gives us x equals 3. So when x is 3, y is 0. So we go right 3 and up 0. Now because this is a strict inequality, we're going to use a dotted line. Okay. Uh, if it was a solid, if it was a, if it was one of these, if it has an equal to, it's solid. So if it's this, it's solid, and if it's this, if it's one of these, it's dotted. So now we just draw the dots. So maybe something like this: dot 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 dot. All right, good stuff. The next step is to pick a test point. So step two is to pick a test point. So you can pick any number that's not on the line. So how about 0, 0? Let's pick 0, 0. Usually that's the easiest one. As long as your line isn't passing through the origin, you can always use 0, 0. If it is, you just pick something else, like 1, 1 or something. And you plug it into the original inequality. And so if it's true, you shade where you picked it from. So we're picking 0, 0 from here, from the origin. So if it's true, we're going to shade up here. If it's not true, we're going to shade in the other spot. So let's see. 4 times 0 is less than 3 times 0 plus 12. So 0 is less than 0 plus 12. Okay, so that means that uh, 0 is less than 12. That's true, right? 0 is less than 12, so we're going to shade up here. So this would be the shaded area. This would be the region that we want. Um, if it was false, we would shade in the other spot. I hope this video has been helpful.